Hi Scorpio, welcome to your singles reading for January. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So Scorpio, this is intended for singles, so you do have to be single in some way, whether you're uh, separated for some, from somebody, just totally single, wondering am I going to meet somebody, whatever your situation, you, you know, you do have to be single. If you feel like you have connection with somebody, um, I also do a love connection reading monthly so you're more than welcome check the description box below find uh, the love playlist and you can watch the love connection readings that i also do maybe that will resonate for you also so uh please feel free to do that so scorpio i hope everybody's doing well welcome in welcome in hope you all had a wonderful christmas happy new year so let's see what's going on scorpio in loving you can also check the description box below tons of stuff down there how to reach out for personal reading decks i'm using social media um, I do readings on Instagram, so tons of stuff down there. So this is a Zodiac Oracle. I'm going to pull a couple signs first, and uh, I'll explain the reading as I go through. But we're going to look at two energies and see how those energies will connect and what that energy will be like once it comes together for some of you. So let's see here for Scorpio. A couple, oh, there's your signs. They fell out together. Wow, okay. So we have Gemini in the sun. So we have Gemini and Leo. So Gemini, air sign, fire sign, Leo with the sun. And the sun is all about being true to yourself, your identity, your originality, your ideas, your creativeness, your sole purpose, you know, just being true to who you are. But the sun in the tarot also represents happiness and joy, victory, every, every single thing in life positive with the sun energy. So... We'll see how that plays out here. So, and I just noticed here Gemini is three and the sun is 13, which is four. So we got three, four. Hmm. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here for Scorpio is pull like an opening energy. This could be your your energy. This could be this uh, possible person got <coughs> <coughs> coming into you. Wow, my throat. <coughs> Sorry. Wow. <clears throat> and Gemini does represent the planet of Mercury, which is all about communication. So, wow. Okay. <clears throat> Hopefully that doesn't happen again. So, <laughs> let's get an opening energy. So, like I said, this could be your energy, this possible person coming in's energy, a mutual energy you may share in the future. Uh, we're just going to take what comes out here. So an opening energy to begin with for Scorpio at this time. I do say at this, say at this time because I do consider all my readings uh, timeless. So, okay. So, and also Scorpio, I have a new format and layout. So if you watched my past singles reading I did for December and November, it was different. So let me know in the comments which format you like better. If you like the original format better. If you don't remember, you can go back. Like I said, down below in the description. Check out December singles, November singles, and compare it to this way. If you like both, I can do both. I can alternate. Or if you prefer this way, I can stick to this format. Let me know in the comments. So we have an opening energy here of lost love, surrender, healing, and release. 35 is 8. 8 is about action, travel, communication. So somebody healing here from a lost love. Oh, boy. <laughs> you are, it could be this other person so we have winter's end on this side so it's been coming out a lot in these readings and we're coming into winter now so i'm putting energy on this side and an energy on this side and i guess scorpio pick a side <laughs> if it resonates for you let's see what we got here so like i said we have winter's end here which is uh re regeneration rebirth positive outcome 16, 7. 7 is a violent, very divinely guided spiritual number. It is also, um, it can be about, you know, lies, deceit, sneaky energy. Um, 7 has a lot of meanings, like in the tarot. So, and then on this side over here, we have thinking of you, a loving thought, serendipity. 92 is 11. 11 is a very, uh, it's a spiritual number. It's like being on the right path, a path opening up for you. Uh, going in the right direction, spiritual guidance energy. But if you do have that together, you usually don't. But if you do, you got two, which is about partnerships and unity. So I don't know. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck here. 
So we have apprehension, moving out into the world, doubt and fear. 18 is 9. So 9 is almost out of completion because then you have 10, which is the completion, and 1 is a new beginning. So, I mean, this could be somebody that you know. Maybe there was a breakup or something like that. could be by winter's end. This could be coming back together. I see one person is thinking about the other person. And maybe there's some apprehension about reaching out or coming forward or trying to reconnect. Someone's feeling the loss here of somebody and thinking of them and maybe thinking about reaching out, but they're apprehensive. I mean, this could have ended like during maybe last winter even, or by winter's end, uh, this side may hear from this side. Wow. Okay. So let's pull some tarot around this to see what's going on here. Somebody's apprehensive, I feel, about reaching out, but let's see. Sometimes I get the energy of somebody you know. If this is somebody you don't know, if this doesn't resonate for you, then it could be somebody new who may may have an eye on you that may be like, uh, you know, looking at you and wanting to reach out to you, but maybe they're afraid to or something. Uh, somebody, I feel like, definitely has lost something with that lost love energy there. Maybe you they know that uh, one side knows the other person maybe just went through something and lost something. Maybe that's why they're apprehensive about reaching out so soon. So let's get some energy here about this winter's end. The five of water and the hierophant. So we have sadness, hurt, loneliness, sorrow with the five of water energy. And then we have the hierophant, which can be about commitments, marriage, spiritual energy. So I feel like it's this side here. Because we have marriage, commitment, and that kind of energy. The Hierophant. But then we got sadness and loneliness. And then we got end. And the word end is sticking out to me. So it could have been, you know, the end of last winter. This side here maybe um, went through a... Um, lost something here. So we got uh, Five of Fire here, which is conflict. Could be inner conflict. It could be just conflict in general, fighting, arguing, pettiness kind of energy. Oh, so, and, you know, could have been a breakup here. Maybe there's just a lot of fighting, arguing. We got two fives, so change. Something really big changed and something on this side and uh, something they were in that 10. Then you add the two fives, that's 10. That's an ending. <clears throat> and we got another five here. We got three fives, five, five, five. Wow. There was major change on this side. Major change. Because um, you add two fives together, you get ten. That's an ending. So something ended here. Feeling that lost. It could have been an ending of a marriage or something like that. Could have been uh, the end of last winter. Or it could be coming up, maybe going through something the end of this winter. Hmm. Okay. So let's get some energy on this side. So we have the world. So somebody here... Wants a whole new world with somebody here. Wow. Six of Earth. They want to provide stability. Equal give and take. Balanced. This side is ready to start a whole new chapter in life. They're ready to bring balance into their life. They want to bring balance to a situation. They're looking for something very, very balanced. Ace of Earth. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Wow. They're ready for a stable new beginning, long-term energy here, Bel building on a firm foundation for the long time, long-term. They're ready to, I think they're really re ready to settle down in a long-term commitment for the future. And they're ready to start on that new journey with that world card there. That's, you know, can be ending chapters, but it can also be starting of a new cycle. So, because the world is the last in the major, and then you go right to the fool, which is like, Jumping in the leap of faith. And then you have one, which is the magician, which is manifesting a new beginning. So, And there's the one here. So this person is balanced. They're ready to jump in, into the world, and start a new cycle with a long-term partner here. Building on a firm foundation for the future. Wow. Okay, so... Let's get a couple more energies before we see how this could possibly come together. Get one on this side. 
Wheel of Fortune, so that's a good energy on this side here. So, and we got the 10 there with the ending. So I think by ending, this side by ending, whatever situation they were in, I think it was meant to be with the Wheel Fortune's Wheel, Wheel of Fortune's things that are meant to be divinely guided, energy, divine timing, uh, things going definitely in a better direction here. So I think by ending something here, it could have been a marriage, a long-term commitment. Now things are going to go in a better direction for you. And you may not see, this side may not see it because they just went through. They may be stu still stuck in this sadness, hurt, and this loss here, this lost love. But So let's see um, this side here. Ace of Air. Wow. So <laughs> they have the Ace of Air and the Ace of... This side clearly knows the Ace of Air, Ace of Swords is truth, clarity, I mean, they're seeing with total truth and clarity, epiphany, aha moment. They're ready for this new beginning. They got two cards of a new beginning. They see clearly. They know clearly. They know what they want. They they know exactly what they want with this all this energy here. This person knows exactly what they want. And it may be you, um, but there's apprehension here. I think it's on this side. Like, I think they know this side has gone through something maybe last winter, through last winter. And, uh, you know, they're trying to get out of it. They're trying to, you know, the Wheel of Fortune there, they're trying to start over. They're trying to start fresh. They're trying to, you know, get their life back in order. And this side's just ready. They're ready. So this could be somebody that you, wow, that you don't even know that may like you. Um, or it could be somebody you don't know. You don't know. So let's see how these energies come together. Let's see how these energies come together. So the air here is that Gemini. And this does remind me of the sun here. So they could be Gemini or they could be Leo um, kind of energy. So now we got the queen of air. So <laughs> the queen, king, sword, queen, king of swords, queen of swords, ace of swords, all reminds me of divine energy. But it doesn't have to be. But this is someone who, you know, that's just truth and clarity and the queen of air, op open, honest, truthful communication. Queen of air, king or queen, doesn't matter. Can be somebody who is in law enforcement, um, in the, um, they, could, they could be in the medical field, they could be in law enforcement, they could be a soldier, they could be um, work in the justice system. Somebody who uses their mind a lot. Somehow, that kind of energy, I think, may bring the two of you together. Whether this is a divorce and you meet them through that process, that could be the energy also. And it kind of takes by surprise here. Um, I think if you, this side have been going through something and they have you know to deal with the court system or the justice system or law enforcement of some way, this person I think may know you in that way and they see that, <laughs> they see like they know what they want and they want you and you may not even be aware of that. You may just think, okay, they're, you know, somebody I deal with for this, this or that reason. And, but deep down there, they think of you all the time and they know what you've been through. Wow. So air is winter, so that's this winter, and we have winter's end right there. So how many is this now? Okay, three. So let's get more energy here. So we have the king of fire energy. We have the ten of fire. And then we have the four of fire. Four of wands energy is all about, you know... <laughs> That's the marriage card. It's the twin flame card for me. It's, um, but right in the middle here, this heavy burdens that need to be let down, that need to be um, released. But this is commitment here at the four of wands. This is, it can be some ceremonies, weddings, marriages, uh, coming together. Let's go out, let's go on a date. You know, just coming together with that four of wands energy, but it's very stable and grounded. King of fire, very fiery, passionate energy. So let's get a couple more here. So I feel like the Ten of Fire is this side's energy of letting go, again with the ending, letting go of this ending. And maybe now, you know, you may uh, 
You may find out about this person liking you. Maybe they finally just say it with the king of the queen of uh, swords there. Oh my god. <laughs> Ace of water. Brand new beginning in love. Wow. Okay, we have three aces here. Wow. Okay. Five of earth, five of pentacles. So that's, you know, uh, loss, lack kind of energy. I feel like this side's going to find out the truth about this side. And it may light a little bit of spark in this side and be like, oh, like, really? And make this side release these burdens, this energy faster. Because we do have commitment here or just going on a date or something like that. Brand new beginning in love here with the um, Ace of Cups. This side over here, though, the five, that's loss. That's, um, but there also could be over here about that loss, you know, feeling neglected, lonely, lost, abandoned kind of energy. Wanting love again. Wanting this brand, brand new beginning in love. I feel like now it's like, okay, it's been almost a year since I've been through this and somehow... Maybe you run into this person again this winter. It's been like a year. And uh, it's like sparks that little bit of flame <laughs> between the two. A lot of fire energy right here. So like in the sun is fire. So there's that Leo energy. So, and we do have the air too, but it's like sparks that interest. It's like, whoa, oh, hi. You know, you run into one another. And I feel like, you know, you both are ready now for something because you're tired of being abandoned, neglected, of feeling, you know, loss kind of energy and I think this person's been thinking of this person it could be a whole year here <laughs> wow so let's get possible outcome in this situation this may not resonate with everybody so please remember that two of water so two of cups energy soulmates coming into union wow so somehow this side has been through something this side knows who this side is I feel knows what they've been through and has admired them and liked them and thought of them through this whole journey. And finally, it could be like a year later, finally now feels like it's the right time to reach out. Or, and there could be just like a, a meeting, like running into one another, divine timing here with the wheel that brings these two people together. And now it's like two soulmates coming into union that are tired of being alone. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Scorpio, let's see what's on. The emperor. So taking the lead taking charge this person could be um they could be a business owner or something like that or they just take the lead take charge maybe the first one to reach out to the other but somebody's stepping up and taking the lead taking charge here moving this forward again with the four ten of ears so ten of swords is that painful hurtful ending i feel like it's on this side ten of earth though this has this could be you know Three of Cups energy. So we've got the Ten of Earth is about um, a family dynamic. It's about commitment. It's marriage. It's long-term uh, energy here with the Ten of Pentacle energy. And then we've got the Three of Water rejoicing coming together. I feel like you're going to like meet this person like after a year in a social setting of some kind or something like that. So... Yeah, so we got the seven of water, like feeling confused, like this person, like confused. I don't know whether to reach out. Uh, I don't know if your friends on social media or something, or if they have your information or what, but confusion here with the seven of water, like, should I reach out? I don't know if I should reach out. Maybe it's too soon. Maybe I need to wait kind of energy. And then finally, here's that fiery, passionate um, energy coming in after like being confused, going out, having a drink running like maybe into them in a social setting three of cups energy has a potential here of the ten of pentacles all the way or this is the ending of the marriage which could have been over here a long-term commitment and somebody just stepping up taking the lead and taking charge of the situation someone being in that emperor empress role however that resonates for you all right, Scorpio, let's get some closing messages with this deck. I do ask Scorpio if you like how I read. Please do like, share, subscribe, comment. Um, I do four different, right now I do four different readings a month. I do a love connection. I do a singles. I do general. I do um, angel messages or spirit messages. And I also just started doing a weekly element forecast, uh, love, life, and advice. I may be narrowing it down and just sticking to the love connection and singles readings, but you can check out my channel, and if you like what I see, what you see, uh, please feel free to subscribe. 
So and if you do, thank you so much. Hit the bell, you won't miss out. Let's get a closing message here. High Priestess of Ear. And we did have the High Priestess. I thought we had the High Priestess energy come out here. No? Okay. So here's the High Priestess of Ear. Six. Six is a very healing, balancing energy. High Priestess of Ear is all about truth, clarity, you know, the mind, uh, thinking clearly, communication, clear communication. That's that Gemini energy. So it all comes down to clear communication, thinking clearly, um, thoughts, ideas, all that kind of energy. All right, let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. The warrior. Two. Two is unity. So someone is in that wounded warrior energy here. I feel like it's this side. Been through a lot here, but they keep fighting and struggling on. But I do see soulmate union uh, coming in here. And I think one has been admiring the other from a distance for like a year. And finally, now it's like the time this is finally going to come together with the Wheel of Fortune driving, driving it along with divine energy. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Scorpio. So good luck to you, sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.